gentlemen I am back for another video and guess what it is wine and wigs Thursday <laughs> clink 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 drink up I know today's Thursday yesterday was Halloween y'all needed a day off from me I needed a day off from y'all so we just had to relax and enjoy the Halloween holiday the company that I've been working with Janet collection they are an amazing company and if you haven't heard of Janet Collection before, I'm sure you've seen it in your local beauty supply store. So basically they're an affordable hair brand. They sell wigs, they sell weaves, they sell one pack solutions where you can create the wig yourself. I think I made two wigs with them. They have the Alley Ball hair. It's the beautiful 4B curly hair that I still wear to this day. And I also created a wig with them as well. This unit right here, the Brazilian bundle hair, and it's in Brazilian natural straight. There's three pieces and a frontal, but this frontal is a little bit different. It's not a full frontal. It is a frontal that has a closure and then a sliver of hair in the front, a closure with edges. That's what we'll call it. It's a closure with edges. I got it in 18, 20, and 22 inches. So basically they have created these one pack solutions where you get your frontal and you get your three bundles and you create your whole wig. All you need to do is buy a cap. That's it. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that I did to customize this wig and then we'll be right back. So I'm going to start off by taking the frontal, the frontal with the edges and pinning it down into place to where I want to sew it down on the cap. Going to pin the hair up and get everything out of the way and start cutting off the excess cap in the back and cutting off the excess hair that hangs over my ears as well. I'm just going to sew it down. I mean, I don't do it very neatly at all. I just sew fairly loosely around the edges of the frontal. This is the first time I've ever really done this with the frontal typically I don't cut as much of the lace off because you can sew it down and then sew the tracks over it but this time I'm just gonna sew as much as possible sew it all the way around the perimeter and now we're just gonna start plucking this part so I just parted it down the middle and plucked out the excess hair in the part just to widen it up a little bit and have it not look so crowded and I'm also doing the hairline as well. So I just part sections in the front. So I part like right behind the hairline with like half an inch of hair and just pull out little pieces. And then I go to the front and do the same thing. This cuts down the tweezing a good amount, but this takes me about 15 to 30 minutes depending on the look that I'm going for. So now we're just going to cut off the lace in the front and the excess cap. Well, the, ex the lace. And we're going to take this trusty dusty wig grip. Go ahead and put that on and take some got to be glued as well. I've noticed that when I don't use the got to be glued, the front of the lace looks a little bit fake. So I'll try to make it look as realistic as possible. And I'm using the end of my rat tail comb just to lay the wig down in place and I'm taking like a little satin robe thing as a scarf to hold it down and hold it in place. I'm going to wait for about maybe 10 minutes and then take it off. Also we need to add some got to be glued just to tame down those flyaways and keep it from looking so bulky and I also want to show you what the back looked like as well. So I hope you liked it. Okay, so now that we're back, you can. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the all of the perks, the pros and cons, the goods, the bads, and the uglies about this hair. When I first pulled the hair out the pack, it felt like I'm not gonna lie to you. It felt like standard straight hair. The texture is more like a silky slash super fine, so it feels more like an Indian hair to me. Now, this is what this hair is like. It's not really, really thick. It's super light, which I'm okay with because I have a really small head. So that's basically what I my first impressions were of the hair. Let me go ahead and give you the pros and cons. 
The pros of it is that it all comes in one pack. It is a one pack solution. You can just create this wig and go. The price is really, really affordable and that is what we're looking for. Oh, the curls. So I use my, just my Walmart hair curler and these are the curls I got. Like these curls are gorgeous. It curled like this hair was quality, quality hair. Like, let's go ahead and get to the cons. The cons is that if you like thick hair, this hair doesn't come off very thick. Now I only use two and a half bundles and the frontal. So if you do want it thicker, you can all use all three bundles, but this is what the hair looks like. So the hair isn't really, really thick, but it is the perfect density for me. Yeah, that's basically all the pros and cons. If you are looking for beauty supply store hair and you're looking for affordable hair, you can definitely check out Janet Collection. I say all of that to say that I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, also I will be doing Synthetic Saturdays, so I will have a Saturday video as well. Y'all let me know if you do like these one pack solutions sort of hair and if you've ever tried them before. If you have any questions, leave those down below as well. In the description box, I'll leave all this information about the hair and the company Janet Collection. I love you all and I will see you on Saturday, my next video. Bye.